Running a business means you're juggling a lot of different tools, a lot of different apps, and a lot of different software. And some of these tools can be very complicated, they can be very expensive, and honestly, most of them probably aren't even necessary. But I found a way to simplify a lot of these tools into just one. To be totally honest with you, I have completely transformed the way that I approach tools, software, and apps over the last year in my business by switching everything into Canva. Yes, I said Canva. I'm actually saving a ton of money on software subscriptions and unnecessary tools that I was using in my business, and I've found a way to streamline everything from content creation to client deliverables by using the tools and everything inside of Canva. Now, before we dive into the tutorial and me showing you a bit of the behind the scenes, I do have one caveat. I pay for a Canva Pro Teams account. You don't necessarily need the Teams aspect of Canva Pro, but you do need Canva Pro to access quite a few of these features. I highly recommend that you sign up. It is about, I think, $13 a month at this point, and it pays for itself. I promise you some other apps and tools that you are using are probably far more expensive and can't do nearly as much as Canva. So one of the first things that I converted over into Canva to get rid of like ugly looking PDFs or crazy expensive like software were client deliverable and kind of like client work stuff. So as you can see, I have a whole section in Canva dedicated to the services that I offer, one being speaking, one being content collabs, and one being like strategy sessions, workflows, audits, things like that. So I specifically use Canva Docs to send over client deliverables when it comes to audits, strategy sessions, things like that. And of course, we can use all of Canva's super fun elements to design this, but there are certain components that I absolutely love when delivering these to clients. I can record walkthroughs, I can record tutorials, embed them right into Docs. There's different design elements. I can really just have this visually appealing to-do list, checklist, due dates, like all kinds of different things. And the best part, you click share, there's a public view link. And now this link I deliver to clients, this acts as just like a web page. And essentially if I update anything in that original Canva doc, that will be reflected on their end. So I'm not sending updated PDFs if changes were made, I'm not sending ugly spreadsheets or things like that. So this is just one of the ways that I'm serving my clients a little bit better and making sure that it's optimized, branded, and beautiful. And of course, we're all familiar with creating presentations inside of Canva. This is nothing new, but the thing that I like the most about creating my presentations for my speaking events in Canva is that I can take my signature keynotes, copy and paste them, add in different examples, adjust things, move them around based on who I am presenting to, what that audience looks like. So I'll have a big, huge deck like this. And basically what I can do is I can make adjustments. I can remove things. I can add things, give different examples, make sure there's like interactive elements and videos. I can present directly from Canva. If it is like a workshop or summit, I can record it directly in Canva and just send out links. And it makes it so much easier for me to just deliver this. And instead of creating some like something in InDesign or Photoshop that don't have interactive elements or using something like PowerPoint that's not always user friendly. And especially when sharing PowerPoints, not everybody has that type of software. So those files don't always open or convert well. Whereas with Canva, it's so easy for me to send a link, present this in a very nice way and things aren't getting messed up. And lastly, this is something new that I introduced into my business over the last year. But when I work with a brand on content for paid content collaborations or anything like that, delivering assets and keeping all the information together was very, very difficult. Different brands work in different ways. And sometimes if I'm working with an agency or anything like that, things can get lost in the scramble. Some people like Dropbox, some people like Google Drive. There's so many different things. So what I decided to do is create another Canva doc, but I have specific due dates. I have all of the deliverables, all the concepts, the scripts, the caption, literally anything and everything. And even for certain brands, like if they don't have a designated Google Drive or Dropbox, what I can do is I can drag and drop the video into this Canva doc and they can review it and approve it. So again, we're not going back and forth. I can make this shareable so that they can leave their comments, their edits. So there are certain times when I'm working with a brand, if they require commenting or edits to be made prior to posting, what I would do is change the section to comments, feedback, and they can come in here themselves and we can collaborate on this together. They can leave notes for me based on the feedback that they or their team might have. And it's, again, just another interactive way. I simply just add them as a collaborator to this doc instead of delivering that link like I do for my strategy sessions. And it just makes it so much easier for us to all work together. 
So the next thing that I like to use Canva for is for like backend business operations and like brand assets. It can be anything from my products to my website. Like there's so much that I have poured into Canva and it now all lives in one place, which again, I'm not using other complicated design software, complicated website software and things like that. So I do house vast majority of my brand assets all inside of Canva. Yes, I do have high quality backups in Google Drive and things like that, but I do love to have just everything at my fingertips inside of the brand kit. I also have all of my very expensive brand elements that I got from my brand designer. So that it just makes creation of any kind of product or anything that I need branded super simple and super seamless. So again, I house all of that in here. The next thing that I love creating in Canva are things for my products or freebies. Again, I'm not having to go into InDesign or Photoshop. I've truthfully gotten rid of Creative Cloud, Creative Suite, whatever it's called from Adobe now, and I'm able to just create everything inside of Canva. I use the website feature to deliver my media kit to brands as well when I'm working on collaborations or if people want to see my speaking experience, people want to see the content collaborations that I've done. I don't like having this all very public facing on my website. Personally, I do like to gatekeep this a bit. Of course, I'm showing you now, but you know, you, you know what I mean. Basically, I want brands to come to me instead of just seeing everything on the website. Then I will also use Canva websites for sales pages. So I wanted to put up a quick workshop, but I'm like, I do not have time to design this in Squarespace. I designed it right inside of Canva websites, and this is like a fully built out uh, sales page for the workshop that I just, it was one off. I knew I wasn't going to keep it in my product suite. Eventually it did turn into a higher ticket product. But for the time being, I just wanted to like show up live on Zoom. And I'm like, here we go. This is all we needed. Just need a quick little sign up telling people what they got. So I will also use Canva to build out products to house my entire brand and things like that. Okay, and the last thing that I use Canva for and revolutionize the way that I use it is for content creation. And now, listen, I know you guys are probably already using Canva to create graphics for Instagram, things like that. But I use Canva far beyond just that. I actually have my whole content system living inside of Canva for the most part. So I have an entire folder dedicated to my content creation with subfolders for each of the year and each of the month. Obviously, we're just in 2025 now, but what it looks like for an entire year looks something like this. So I have subfolders on subfolders on subfolders. Anything I create in that month lives in here. This really just helps me keep things organized, make sure that I am creating content consistently. I know how to then go and find that content to then repurpose, which is the one thing that I really want to teach you guys about here and why Canva has revolutionized this for me. So let's go into Instagram feed posts for an example. Obviously you can see that I label each of these. Um, I don't create as much feed content anymore, but if you're somebody who loves graphics, carousels, things like that, you come in here and create them and then I just label them with the day. So let's say I wanted to create something very, very quickly. Instead of scrolling through templates or using templates from other people or ones that you've purchased and things like that, we're starting from scratch. I actually have brand templates that I've already previously set up. These are things that I repeat all the time. So I have some Instagram carousel templates and let's say I know I want to use this one. I simply click in here and the design is already done for me. So if you have never set up brand templates in Canva, I highly recommend you do so because now I could come in here, plug in the information that I need to plug in, Maybe come down here again. This is why I love having all my photos, my videos live inside of Canva because now I can quickly update this. This can just move around. I can come in and do the same thing here, swap some things out, and I can make an Instagram carousel in arguably less than five minutes. I could come in here and just put the copy that I needed and it's ready to go. So that's one functionality. Now let's say I know I had a high performing post last year and I want to just update it. So I could come into my folders, come into content creation. Let's go back to 2024. Let's say I knew it was in May. So I would come in here and again, you can see all of the different content that I have specifically for that month. And I come up into my Instagram feed post and I know this post did so well for me last year, but I just wanna update these few things. Boom, post done. I could do the same, keep it going. Maybe let's do this one. This one I actually know did perform very, very well for me last year. So maybe I just want to change the color and maybe add a cute little brand element and just spice it up a little bit. But you can see how quickly this just formulated itself, this post. And this is such a great way for you to be able to produce more content in a timely manner 
by using content that you've already created inside of Canva. So that's like graphic specific. Now you can do that exact same process for video specific things. You can also come into Canva and create videos. I've been testing out some of their video editing software and it is absolutely fantastic. Okay, now that it's loaded, you can do that same process. You can go into old folders, grab old content, things like that. But one thing specifically that I wanna show you is with Instagram. So let's say you create content natively on Instagram using Reels editor or things like that. If you connect your Instagram account to Canva, you can come up here, you can see this is a Reel that I did create inside of Instagram and added trending audio. I can click on it and it will bring it into that design for me. Yes, including the music so that I could then go repost. Obviously, make sure that you are always following guidelines um, if you are using trending sounds and things like that. I will probably go and switch out the sound, but let's say you recorded a talking head video, it'll bring that sound over for you. And then I simply set this video as the background, it's ready to go. So I can download this, I can put it out on other platforms, I can repost it on Instagram or things like that. So Canva has become an integrated part of my content creation process and you guys can see how quickly I just created those posts and you can do the same for your business. So there you have it the exact way on how I use Canva to run basically my entire business. I know simplifying your tech stack can feel a bit overwhelming at first, and you might not have the time to go ahead and convert everything into Canva, but just start small. Work towards one of these projects or one of these features that I've used in my business and see if it works for yours. Before you know it, you're going to have a smoother workflow. You're going to be saving a ton of money on these software subscriptions that always seem to add up somehow and you'll have more time to focus on what truly matters in your business so drop your questions in the comments below otherwise i will see you guys next week